Absolutely, there is life elsewhere, and almost certainly intelligent life. It has to be. The odds are just overwhelming. For decades, the Voyager 1 spacecraft has been hurtling through the cosmos. A lone emissary from Earth launched in 1977 with a mission that has long since evolved far beyond its original scope. Recently, an unexpected and deeply unsettling revelation has emerged from its distant journey. Bill Nye, one of the most vocal advocates for science communication and a central figure in public discussions of space exploration, revealed that Voyager 1 had transmitted data that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. After years of silence punctuated only by occasional updates and instrument diagnostics, the spacecraft has encountered something that challenges long-held assumptions about the nature of deep space. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object from Earth, has traveled past the influence of the Sun's heliosphere, entering the interstellar medium, a place so remote that it exists far beyond any human experience or comprehension. Until recently, the spacecraft had been relaying relatively routine information, measurements of cosmic rays, the magnetic field of interstellar space, and the rarefied plasma it traverses. But now, after decades of transmitting such scientific data, Voyager 1 has sent back an anomalous signal that appears to originate from a region of space with conditions vastly different from any encountered before. The discovery came in the form of a series of irregular plasma wave emissions, utterly inconsistent with known behavior of interstellar plasma. These emissions had a frequency and modulation that didn't match any cosmic phenomenon cataloged by astrophysicists. What made this even more perplexing was the subtle pattern detected in the signal, one that upon detailed analysis bore hallmarks of intentional structure. The data defied the randomness of natural cosmic noise. Scientists expected turbulence in interstellar plasma and unpredictable waveforms, but this pattern suggested rhythm, repetition, and a deviation from the entropy that defines space environments. Bill Nye, with his lifelong dedication to explaining complex scientific phenomena to the public, was among the first to convey the implications of this revelation. Though careful to avoid jumping to conclusions, he underscored the significance of this irregularity, drawing attention to how little we actually understand about the space beyond our solar system. For years, Voyager 1 has operated on dwindling power, with aging instruments and limited capacity for course corrections. Yet even in its fragile state, it has relayed data that could fundamentally alter humanity's perception of its place in the cosmos. The region where this signal was detected, over 15 billion miles from Earth, lies in a part of the interstellar medium thought to be mostly empty, sparsely populated with hydrogen atoms and cosmic dust. But Voyager's readings indicated that this emptiness may be more complex than previously thought. The plasma density showed abrupt unnatural fluctuations. Moreover, magnetic field readings displayed alignments that, while subtle, appeared too consistent to be random. The interplay of plasma density, magnetic orientation, and structured signal pointed toward a localized field anomaly, an area of space exhibiting properties that no existing models had anticipated. Astrophysicists are now grappling with the possibility that Voyager 1 has entered a region governed by unknown physical laws, or interacting with a force or structure previously undetected. Theories range from the plausible to the radical. One hypothesis suggests the existence of a localized interstellar object or construct, possibly natural, possibly artificial, whose influence is shaping the signals being detected. Others speculate about exotic phenomena such as dark matter interactions or even topological defects in the fabric of space-time. The implications are vast. If the pattern in the plasma waves is natural, then it could indicate a new class of interstellar phenomenon, a kind of cosmic turbulence or resonant field we've never encountered before. This would reshape astrophysical theories about the composition and dynamics of interstellar space. It could imply that interstellar voids are not as uniform or inactive as previously believed. If such regions contain hidden order or energy patterns, then the journey of Voyager 1 has only just begun to uncover the true complexity of our galaxy. On the other hand, if the signal has an artificial component, if the structure of the waveform suggests design rather than chance, then Voyager 1 might have stumbled upon evidence of non-human intelligence or a remnant thereof. This possibility, while speculative and controversial, cannot be entirely dismissed given the unfamiliarity of the signal's profile. 
Even the most skeptical scientists are forced to consider whether this could be a form of interstellar artifact or beacon. Long dormant or still active, pulsing with information beyond our current ability to decode. What makes this discovery even more eerie is the context in which it was made. Voyager 1, operating far beyond the range of any repair or intervention, is effectively alone in the cold silence of deep space. It is an aging traveler with no way to turn back, sending messages home that take over 22 hours to reach Earth. The signal it detected was not loud or forceful. It was quiet, persistent, and buried beneath layers of static, as if it had been waiting for something to listen. The notion that such a signal has gone unnoticed for eons only now detected by a fragile probe on the brink of silence, adds a haunting dimension to the discovery. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory are now analyzing every bite of data with renewed urgency. Voyager 1's instruments, though limited, are calibrated in such a way that even minute anomalies become measurable. In recent weeks, multiple spikes in the signal's consistency have occurred, suggesting that the phenomenon is not isolated to a single incident. Instead, it may be part of a broader structure or system of signals scattered across a wider region. These patterns, though still indecipherable, hint at an intelligence or design beyond natural stochasticity. The significance of this lies not only in the potential origins of the signal, but in its implications for humanity's future. If Voyager 1 has truly detected an artificial signal or evidence of a structured anomaly, then it would represent the first verifiable indication that intelligence, human or otherwise, has made a mark outside the solar system. It would imply that humanity is not alone in the cosmos, or at the very least, that the universe harbors phenomena far stranger and more intricate than previously believed. Some researchers have suggested that the signal could be the byproduct of a vastly larger structure or entity, possibly a Dyson-like system or an interstellar monitoring station. Such constructs, if they exist, would be beyond the scale of anything humanity can currently comprehend. They would also suggest timelines and intentions that stretch across millennia. Voyager 1, moving at a modest pace of about 38,000 miles per hour, could take centuries to pass through even a fraction of such a region. The fact that it has detected anomalies in a small portion of this space implies a much larger network or field may lie ahead. This has led to renewed discussions about the nature of first contact, not with a civilization per se, but with the artifacts or echoes of one. The universe may be littered with remnants of intelligence long gone, their mechanisms still operating in silence, indifferent to our curiosity. If Voyager 1 has intersected with such a remnant, then humanity stands on the precipice of decoding a message billions of years in the making. Or it may be a system still active, operating under principles of communication or observation we do not yet understand. Moreover, the discovery has reignited debates about the so-called Great Silence, the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the absence of contact. If structured signals like this one exist in interstellar space but are undetectable without precise conditions, then perhaps contact has already occurred without our awareness. Voyager 1, by virtue of its trajectory and sensitivity, may have stumbled across a signal that was never meant for us but was simply always there, undiscovered until now. This poses deeper philosophical questions about humanity's role in the cosmos. For centuries, the search for extraterrestrial life has been framed in terms of communication, a deliberate exchange of information. But what if the universe does not speak in words or languages? What if its signals are ambient? encoded in magnetic fields and plasma waves, waiting to be interpreted not by ears, but by instruments that listen in the right way. Voyager 1's recent discovery suggests that the universe may be whispering to us, not in greeting but as a byproduct of its own internal systems and structures. Even within NASA and the scientific community, this has sparked a quiet urgency. Resources are being redirected to examine old Voyager data with new analytical models. Artificial intelligence and pattern recognition algorithms are being trained to detect subtle structures in what was once thought to be noise. There's hope that with enough data, a clearer picture will emerge, a picture that might redefine what is considered possible in the realm of space exploration. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's terrifying discovery? What do you expect happened? 
We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.